everybody, welcome into Northern Life here on this Tuesday. Happy you all can join us. And if you've noticed, uh, we're back home, ladies and yes. gentlemen. Isn't this crazy? Back digs. at the old studio, yeah. <laughs> My gosh, it's cool to be back. We just like just trying new places every once in a while, you know, shifting around. I've already broken something on the old studio, so we're oh, gonna go. Oh, dude, back to his old antics. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it was nice downstairs. Yeah, we enjoyed it, it but uh, happy to be back in this nice, uh, newly renovated facility. Yeah, nice. yes. facility. It's yes. a very, yes. very happy to have some consistency. Yes, yeah. Yeah, we're good to be back. Made especially for us, so this is good. This yeah. is what we're talking about. Good stuff. It is. And a good show coming up today, too. Coming up today, Ryan takes Hunter on a blindfold to the haunted ship experience on the William A. Irvin. <laughs> However, it seems more like Ryan was the one who was blindfolded or even maybe blindsided by it all. <laughs> really funny. <laughs> I'm still upset at Hunter. We're, we'll find out excited why. excited to dive into that. And uh, after that, these two don't know what we're talking about nope. today. We're doing more trivia. Oh! And our trivia is about the William A. Oh. Irvin, oh, the history go. of the ship. So you two are in for a treat. So I we'll see who... Who has I don't the best know, urban field knowledge. trip or two there? Whoa! In the past. So Hunter, uh, I, I've done that before too. Yeah, with school. Yes. Well, at least once before. Did you retain any of the uh, details you learned? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right, an even matchup then. Yes, it's not, e time. not even one bit. Uh, but you know what? It's Tuesday, and you know what that means. We're going to talk about our weekend a little bit. So let's yeah. start with uh, Mr. Hunter McCullough. You oh, were in okay. Grand Rapids for a little bit. Yeah, the whole weekend was up there. We had a couple gigs. That's my brother Colton right there, and so we had a little McCullough. Hello Brothers action, a lot of dancers out there. It was packed uh, almost both nights. It was so, so cool. Uh, those two, the uh, two right back there, they got married a year ago. We played Aww. up there a year ago, and uh, they, we played their wedding song, so that's really cool. That's my best buddy right there, Nick Detlison, and another best buddy of mine, Debbie, right there. They got engaged uh, this past Sunday, so we all got to be there and be a part of that. It was nice. so cool, right down here in Canal Park. So congratulations to you two. Uh, it, it was just a lot of fun celebrating with you guys yesterday and they're gonna make an awesome couple they've been together for a long time and that's gonna be a lot of fun I'm excited to party with them at their wedding and hang out and a lot of fun times ahead so congratulations Nick and Debbie and you were there for the the big question right yeah exactly yeah we all hit up into the Mary time Museum they didn't see us Funny. Nick knew that we were there Nick orchestrated the whole thing but Debbie didn't know and so the deep goes out on the knee we saw the whole thing happen cool. that we all go outside and just start yelling like a bunch of idiots uh, <laughs> going up and celebrating with them it was it was an, a lot of fun great day yesterday so Except Excited yeah. idiots. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> That's perfect. Rich, what did you do this weekend? Uh, oh man, it was a nice, relaxing weekend. Uh, my husband Matt played in a hockey tournament, uh, so I have a couple photos of those to share in a minute. But it was a lot of walking, Harry, because the weather was just beautiful. <laughs> so he was just trotting around. He loves the leaves, loves smelling the leaves. Uh, there's the hockey tournament. Got to go over to Heritage in Duluth. That was a great time. And I made some soup. Oh, what kind of soup? Oh, it is a creamy Tuscan tortellini. Whoa. I know, I know. I follow uh, uh, this woman on Instagram who has these awesome soup recipes. And so I tried this one last year for the first time. I had never made a soup before, and I was like, this is by far the best soup I will ever make. Yeah. And it was. So I had to make it again this oh year because um, it is soup season. The weather's just feeling Whoa. that way recently. Whoa. Is that Parmesan um, on top? It is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I brought that for lunch today, some leftovers, but bummer, I forgot the cheese to oh, put no! on there. I know. The cheese just makes it. Do you care if we, uh, me and Ryan, get a spoon and just like try some of your little, <laughs> little soup there, you know? Tomorrow I'll bring that for you guys. <laughs> there we go, there we go. That's a good plan. I like that. And, uh, and before we talk about my weekend, our, our photographer, Alex Leitzela, was in the newsroom with Harry because Harry stopped by on yeah. Friday. And we just had to share this video that Alex took. I mean, just an absolutely adorable oh. little fur ball laying on the ground. You, I actually haven't seen this yet. It was in really? our emails. No, I know. I, I remember, <laughs> and I was busy at the time when I got in. I was like, oh, oh I'll have to watch that later. And then I, oh, Oh, that's, close up. that's him 24-7. Tongue, <laughs> tongue, tongue is always out. He's I just happy him. to be there. We can't understate enough how adorable Harry is and how he's basically the newsroom mascot. Just this huge dog. I love Harry. He's yeah. the best dog ever. A, love good, uh, a good relief from the stress. Yes. Yeah. That's for sure. And Ryan, you got to take care of a dog this weekend too. I got to watch my friend Allison and Phil's dog Pip. We did a lot of walking as well, like you were talking about, Briggs. Got to share a lot of treats. Oh, so I made yeah. some steak and apparently Pip loves steak. Wow. So, you know, we got to hang out by uh, Leaf Erickson Park and taking the lake on Friday night. So that was super beautiful. I mean, couldn't have asked for a better weekend, really. And uh, just had an awesome time. He was very snoozy. Went to the dog park, hung out with some other dogs. Saw this guy uh, paragliding. I, I don't even know. What, well. Yeah, I don't know what you call it. Paragliding, the the motorized 
gliding. <laughs> I, <laughs> it works, I think. I was actually on the phone with my mom when I saw that, and mm. I was telling her, and she's like, "That would be a perfect blindfold for Ryan oh. Hunter." Oh my gosh! Uh, I was uh, I was happy to be on the ground while watching. watching no that. way! That's yeah. not happening. Okay, I'll cross that one off. Yeah. <laughs> cross it off. Maybe, maybe a years from now. But uh, we were talking about dogs, and uh, we were talking about uh, how to t best take care of your dog, but also best take care of yourself when it comes to a nice, relaxing weekend. So I found some life hacks when it comes to taking care of dogs. It was on this informational blog. Uh, some of them were like, you should sign out your dog up for a subscription service. So maybe oh. like, I know there's that bark box yes. where it comes with treats or uh, toys every every month. I was thinking Hulu or something. Oh. Like, what? Why is my dog like Hulu? It makes no sense to me. I leave the TV on for Harry and CJ every day when I leave. Yeah, so that's I might awesome. want to watch a show. That's true. <laughs> something off for him. Uh, another, I know another one was saying like, if you're going to clean up all the hair on your couch, yeah. you should put on rubber gloves and like try to glide around oh. it. I think it's going to pick up some it's not going to pick up a lot necessarily yeah. um, another one too if they eat quickly you should put like a tennis ball in their bowl of food so that way they have to look you know work That's for right. it a little bit oh, wow. and then apparently parsley if you chop up parsley and put that in their food it's good for their breath it gives them a fresher breath so really your dog likes to kiss you uh, maybe chop up some parsley does harry have good breath not really, no. His, I feel bad his food is like a, a kind of fish smelling oh, and fish sure. tasting. So I think that makes his breath kind of stinky. Oh. Uh, but the parsley, I don't know if he'd go for that. But hey, we could uh, give it a shot, I give guess, it tonight. Shot. Yeah. Give it a shot. Oh, Here we go, buddy. <laughs> Have fun. Eat up. Oh, too cute. Well, it's Hunter's turn to get blindfolded. A spooky surprise over at the William A. Irvin. We'll show you after the break. It's Tuesday. It's time for another blindfold. And guess who? This guy. Oh my god. He's gosh. going on it. What do you think we're doing? Well, we're doing this at the end of the day. You did one at the end of the day, and you had the whole day to think about what it is. I have no idea what we're going to be doing, but I'm scared of whatever it is. It's just us two. We got three camera guys going. So, what does that mean? There's a lot of clues. I don't know what we're doing, though. I'm scared. I'm very scared. I told you it was a long drive. Like, how long? Until we get there. We're going to my house? We're getting wiser as we do these things. I feel like there's a lot of duking going on. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, there you go. You're in the car. Stand right here. I can lift this off? You can uh, take off your mask. Oh! Oh! <laughs> This is sick. What are we going to do? You're going to be going through the haunted house. No the way. Haunted, the haunted ship. No way. Yeah. No way. So. I love this thing. This is going to be sick. <laughs> I seem super excited. It's a big beast. I'm a little disappointed as to how excited Hunter is for this. I thought he was going to be a little more scared. <laughs> so. This is going to be a blast. Let's have a good time. people so far? Yeah, we had three people pee their pants, so... <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> they didn't seriously? Did it, they didn't <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that doesn't happen to me. Okay, okay, I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hunter will meet the Pete Steph and the stairs. At the stairs? Downstairs? Yeah. Go down? So once you get down the stairs, you'll loop around in the German U-boat, and then Keith will meet you at the stairs. Okay, that sounds and good. Go like five minutes ago. Is he not there yet? He's not at the stairs. Is he still stuck in the... Should I find him? <laughs> but there got lost. Okay. Uh... There's nowhere to get lost to. Oh, let's go again. Yeah, we can go again. Okay. Whole adventure. Mary, how can... How, how did he get lost? How can he get There's lost? There's literally... I have no idea. <laughs> no, I have to go... No, you have to go in the hut. Oh, no. I'm glad you're going through it because I, I, I can't stand scary things. Right now. I was sitting there for 20 minutes, all of a sudden Ryan comes behind me. 
I'm like, what's gonna happen? I just kept feeling the anticipation building. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Terrifying. He's the butcher. He has a backstory. Uh. <laughs> 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 I just don't know what to do. I'm looking under. He's so confused. He's like, should I help this child? <laughs> <laughs> it's been kind of scary. It's, I feel like we're in a Scooby-Doo episode. You survived! Yeah. And he didn't even look face. Looks like you're gonna help him. Help you want me to help you with the you're baby? Like, daycare is expensive. Can I help you with? Can I help you with that child? That's what it looked like. That was Man. a fun one. That was unique. Cause so. Don't even explain yourself. So. Hunter's job is to go down the stairs, Briggs. His job is to go, go down the stairs yeah. and find the Keiths around the corner and down more stairs. And Hunter, after 10 minutes, we get a call from Keith, like, where's Hunter? Hunter is, we've left him like five steps away from where his drop off location was. And so me and Seth had to go down there and then the Keiths weren't in that spot they were supposed to be, so it's kind of on the Keiths too. And the we Keiths had, are a photographer, yes, by the yes, way. Yes. <laughs> we had, guys named Keith, me yes. and Hunter and Seth and then Mary had to go find the Keiths together, so I had to go through the haunted house, even though it was a surprise oh. for Hunter. I roped him in. He hates haunted stuff, too. He hates scary stuff. We should have done that. We should have done a blindfold for you doing the haunted stuff. That would have been fantastic. Hey, but mean. it basically was. It basically ended up being that way. But yeah, I got down to this room. There was like no way to go to the next location. Like the door was Besides shut. Besides oh, the big gosh. door that said exit. There was an exit door. I should have not. should have taken it. Dark in there. I get it. There's like water <laughs> Tripping down, it was kind of scary. Uh, I was like trying to walk through like the water. I got a little wet, and I it was it was crazy. So I sat down. I for forgot for about like, that. Yeah. Hunter decided to walk through a restricted area where water was pouring. <laughs> so he wouldn't go on the actual path, but you went through the restricted. It was the only surface. door that I saw was open. I'm like, well, I got to go back here, and it was just a room. So, wow, it was it was crazy. I feel like this is a big ploy by Hunter just to get Ryan to go through. <laughs> it was. I think it was a setup. Hunter decided to walk into water as opposed to go the normal route. I know oh, what I'm doing. So, but have you been on the ship before, either of you? Yes. Yes, I have before. Yes. So, I mean, I like you said, like I've said 30 times now, not a fan of haunted houses, <laughs> houses and I stay as quiet as possible. Yep, yep. But, uh, You're a smart man. Yeah. Oh, man. I'll tell you, it was a different experience going alone, though, versus an entire group. I'm which, sure. That was pretty yeah. cool to do. But uh, it, was, it was very good. Good job by everybody there. Certainly. Big thanks to Mary, actors. too. Very yes. impressive. Yep. Very impressive. Hey, you know what else is impressive? The William A. Irvin itself. We're getting Ooh. ready for some more Tuesday trivia. We'll see you here on Northern Life. All right, everybody, welcome back. I wasn't even in the, I wasn't even in the, yeah, that's my bad, Seth. I wasn't even in the picture. Okay, <laughs> it is time for Tuesday trivia. We're off to a terrible start. But hey, guess what? Me and Seth looked through the answers. Like last week, you know, my Lake Superior trivia didn't go according to plan. A little busty. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's true. But we figured it out. We got it fixed. So we're talking about William A. Irvin trivia. Ooh. So we're going to get to question one, and let me finish the whole answer before you respond. Just okay, for, that's just the for new fairness. rule. Re new rule fairness. Wait, Should we out. tell our buttons? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. So, okay, I've got the... Ding dong. I've, yep. got the, I've always got the horn. Okay. It's stuck. I am, um, I am also not going to allow a hunter to ask a question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> question number one. The William A. Irvin was built in which state? Ooh. A, Minnesota, B, Michigan, or C, Ohio? Briggs. Uh, I'm going to go C, Ohio. It is C, Ohio. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Good job. Oh, Built in 1938 it. at the American Shipbuilding Company in Lorraine, Ohio. Interesting. Let's get to question two. The what? boat was christened by William Irvin's wife, blank. A, Gertrude, B, Margaret, or C, Barbara. Hunter. I love the name Gertrude. I'm going Gertrude. Gertrude is correct. Oh, oh, Good one, job. one. Holy the vessel cow. was christened by William's William Irvin's wife, Gertrude Irvin. Oh. Let's get to question three while we're at it. How long is the William A. Irvin? Ooh. A. 840 feet. B. 750 feet. Or C. 610 feet. Mm. Oh. Is that, is that, <laughs> who's is that? It was Hunter. Hunter, what you got? I'm going B, the, whatever the option that was, 750. That is 
Incorrect. Oh, no! Briggs? Uh, I'm going to go with 610. It is indeed C, 600. Uh, Briggs, I kind of had that in the back of my mind from when we did all the reporting, when the, uh, Irvin moved, oh, yeah. when they had to kind of do the restoration a little well, bit. Well, I hope you kept segment. some of that knowledge, oh. too, because that might be in this, uh, this might be this, this very thing. next question. C carrying <laughs> capacity as well, 13,000 tons. Wow. Uh, question number four, Briggs is up two to one. Why was the William A. Irvin forced to retire? <gasps> a, it was falling apart. B, it was too small. Or C, it experienced a fire. Ooh. Oh, that was close. I'm gonna go with Briggs on that. Oh, one. Okay. I think I heard Briggs is bad. Uh, I don't know the answer, but I'm gonna go with uh, maybe too small because I feel like now you know you have the thousand foot ships that come in uh, carrying a lot more stuff. That's a good maybe. point. What if I told you that is exactly correct? Yes. Yes. It is yes. B, too yes. small. The ship entered its final layup in 1978 with one of the smallest capacities due to the introduction of that fleet's first thousand footer. Oh, right. Wow. Are you Irvin's grandfather? <laughs> 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 Are you a relative of Gertrude? <laughs> what, what is this? I've been lying well, about my name all this time. <laughs> Briggs already won. Briggs already won three she to one. Did. Oh, I did. And yeah. uh, oh, I'm thinking sorry, about grabbing some Dunkin' Donuts coffee tomorrow. Oh, there so we go. Okay. It's, oh. on, it's on me for the winner, okay, okay. and it's going to Briggs. But let's finish with question five, because Briggs actually brought it up. During the 2018 move, how much room did the Irvin have to fit through the slip bridge? Ooh, Was oh, it yes. A, two feet, B, three feet, or C, less than two feet? Uh, Hunter. <laughs> I think it was less than two feet, wasn't it? You'd it was correct. indeed was less okay, than two feet. Yeah, they they said seven inches, give or take, on either side. I don't know how they did it. It took apparently six hours, but you probably remember uh, that day very well. I do, I do, <laughs> yeah. We had a couple of reporters out there. I yeah. remember the day the ship came back, too. Because uh, we were up at the rotating restaurant. And yes! Was really it was cool. a big we day. It was a big day. Uh, well, coming up, we'll let you know what you can expect to see tomorrow. Coming up tomorrow on Northern Life, we've certainly learned a lot about each other since this show launched. It's only been about a month, too. And we're going to learn even more tomorrow. That's because we're going to be coming up with our own Would You Rather questions for each other to answer. I love this game. So you'll have to join us tomorrow to see how each of us think. And maybe you can even weigh in yourself, too. Uh, we'll have to post the video or uh, some prompts online for people to answer. I like some reaction. Yes. Well, well, before we go today, we have an awesome update from a story I believe we brought to you yesterday about the husky named Brett Michaels who donated blood to save a little kitten in Omaha. Well, oh. guess what, guys? Brett Michaels has been adopted by the superstar Brett Michaels. No way! The singer got wind of the story, reached out to the Nebraska Humane Society for more information about the dog, and apparently the rest is history. So until that adoption process is done, the dog, Brett Michaels, is still enjoying life at oh, his current foster my home. my gosh, what that's so ending. sweet. Yeah. Brett Michaels, yeah. Uh, uh, he's gonna have quite the life. <laughs> he's gonna live it up. Yeah, yeah he yes. really yes. is. Get the rock star lifestyle. G gonna have to listen to a lot of poison. Yeah, yeah, coming up. <laughs> Can you stop playing every rose as a thorn, please? <laughs> we get it. We sick get of this. the song. <laughs> well, good on the dog and good on Brett Michaels too. Yeah, we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Find some time to throw a line, or just head outside to unwind. That's the life in the great north woods Hike or bike, whatever you like Get out in the day, enjoy the night Yeah, we got the life in the great north woods Yeah, we got the life in the great north woods Yeah, this is northern life